head to toe horrified and repulsed. And hey everyone, today my video is gonna be a little bit different than most of my videos. I don't usually do story time videos. I've done, I think a couple. I did one like 800 years ago and then I did one that was more of like a, maybe making fun of story time videos, but guys, I talked about this in a recent vlog and so many of you guys wanted to hear the full story as a story time video. It was extremely traumatic. Honestly, I walked away from it just being like, what just happened to me? And like, honestly, I wanted to block it out. I was like, can we not talk about this anymore? Like, let's just go on with the night. Like, I don't wanna remember that this happened to me because it just made my skin crawl. I wasn't vlogging that night that it happened, but it happened on a Friday night and it was Saturday morning when I started my vlog and I talked about it, I briefly mentioned it, knowing that there was a chance that I would do a story time video, but I wasn't, I was just, it, it had just happened to me and I just wasn't ready. And someone even commented, they were like, you looked really shaken up. And I was like, I was. There was a big part of me that didn't wanna make this story time video because I don't know, I don't know if any of you ever feel like this, but when something like really bad happens to me or like something gross or something that makes me feel really bad or just, just negative feelings, there is something wrong with me that I take it on as something that's like embarrassing. I'm like embarrassed that that bad thing happened to me. So I'm just like, let's not talk about it. You know what I mean? And I just like block it out. I've kind of started to think as I'm getting older that I'm a little bit too good at compartmentalizing and I'm like, you know, I can like take this bad thing and like just, okay, we're gonna put it over here and I'm gonna forget it ever happened. I don't know if you've ever felt like that, but I was kind of feeling like that that night and I just, I just wanted to like deny that it ever happened. But the more I tell the story to other people in my life, they're like, they're so blown away. I'm like, okay, yeah, let's tell everybody. Essentially, this is a story of the grossest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Like beyond the grossest thing I've ever eaten in my life. I'm not a very picky person. Like I'm not, I, I'm just not. I don't, I've literally never sent anything back at a restaurant ever in my life. Not that I will eat something that I hate, but it's just like, I don't know. I guess I've just been very, very lucky. Things like this just don't happen to me. I hope they don't happen often to anyone. Anyway, it was a Friday night and I was going out with this guy and we were going to see a band. It was a band that he really liked. He like, he said he was looking forward to it for like 10 years. I had never heard of them. They're like a funny joke band. They do covers and I was like, whatever, I don't care, let's do it. And uh, they were performing at a venue that I don't normally go to. I love going to concerts and shows uh, locally like all the time. I don't have any like extreme preference on where I go and where I don't go, but this is a place that I often don't go. Like I hadn't been there in like four years before the time I went like a couple of months ago. I just like almost never go there. It's just not incredibly often that they have shows there that I want to see. So, and yet again, this was a show that I, it was not my choice, but we were going because he really was looking forward to it and I was excited to go out with him. And uh, so he was convinced that the show was gonna start like at seven. I think it was like doors were at seven. I didn't look it up or anything. And I was like, dude, calm down. The doors are at seven. They're not gonna go on until like 10. It's Friday night. You know what I mean? And he was like, no, no, no. The last band I saw here, like they started right on time and like we almost missed blah, 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 blah. And so I didn't want it to be my fault that we missed something, but it was like right after work. And so I like didn't have time to eat dinner and we show up there and I know there's like restaurants below cause like the venue is like on the second or third level or something. And there are places to eat down below and I was just like, okay, well I'm just gonna find something to eat there really quick. So our Uber comes up and we see there's like, there's a few places and he's like, oh yeah, let's go here. Let's do tapas or whatever. And I was like, oh no, let's just go here. I think it'll be fast and it was a restaurant that's connected to the venue and I just thought it's like a bar restaurant kind of thing it's almost kind of like got like a I don't even know it's like a Chili's vibe or something like that it just it just seemed to me that it would be faster and I wanted to just like okay get something go 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 and whatever 
I had never been there before, so I had no previous experience. I couldn't like vouch for the place and he had never been there either. It was just, it was purely out of convenience and we walked in and they seated us immediately. We just sat in a little bar area and so that was great. We got served right away and uh, so we got drinks, looking at the menu, just trying to find something super fast. So I ordered a flatbread pizza, like the chicken barbecue flatbread pizza off the appetizer menu because as you know I'm kind of obsessed with pizza I could eat it multiple times a day every day and pretty much never get sick of it I don't know maybe I would but as for now I love pizza I eat it all the time and I pretty much never met a pizza I didn't like until this day and the restaurant is actually pretty packed I was impressed that we actually got a seat but there's people everywhere we got our food and and we're eating and just you know whatever we're kind of just trying to rush and it was split into like eight pieces and I, I was like working my way down half of it and I'd eaten like three pieces and um, I was eating my fourth piece and this is a pizza that there's like no vegetables on it just like cheese and chicken and I don't know like onions I can't even remember everything that's on it by the way I do have footage of the actual food and I will show you at the end if you wanna check that out, um, so you'll see. I can't remember right now, but. So we're just talking, eating, whatever, and I take a bite of the fourth piece and I kinda of like pull it back and like, I don't know what it was that made me like really look at it, but it was like, there was just like a different texture and I was just like, like I said, there was no vegetables on it or anything and I was just like, hmm, you know, just whatever, looking. This guy's pretty quiet. We were talking and stuff, but it was like, I had plenty of time to look at my food, to be honest. And I noticed this like little patch of different texture. It was like little, it was brown and they were legs. It was a whole bunch of legs. I pull it back and I'm like, no, no. Those of you that watch my vlog channel, I don't know, for a long time, I've only really talked about this like maybe one or two times, but like I am like, horrified by bugs, specifically roaches. And this is Texas, like there are roaches. Some people call them like water bugs. I feel like that's just a nice thing. Roaches, it was a roach on my pizza. And it was kind of like the same color as the cheese. It wasn't like one of those really dark ones and it was kind of small. Oh, oh, it like makes me itch slash feel like I need to throw up just thinking about it and it was like I took a bite I took an actual bite of this piece and it was like like the thought of like I could have eaten that it could have gotten in my mouth I can't even oh so I like pull it back and I'm like no and I think I see what I think I see I look at him and I'm like look at this like, I can't even say the words. Like, there's a roach on my pizza. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> and he like takes the piece and he looks at it and he's just like horrified. Like, we don't even know what to do. Cause like, have you ever been in that situation? Do you know, do you scream? Like, obviously not. I am, I'm being dramatic right now, but in the moment I was just so shocked. And I'm also just like, not that person to be like, and like you know freak out like that I'm just I'm just not like that and also I don't want to like I don't know like I, I'm very torn about this like I don't want to like ruin anybody's time or like have someone fired or something like that like obviously someone messed up in that situation that never should have happened that should never happen bugs should not be on food I mean I know that happens but like I still don't want to be like, oh my gosh, dude, somebody needs to be fired for this or whatever. That's just not my personality. So like, I wasn't like screaming or anything like that, but we were both just like, what do you do? What do we do? Just in shock thoroughly. And I just like put it down. I like put a napkin over it because I just didn't want to look at it. Obviously I wasn't going to be eating anymore. Um, he was just about done I think or maybe he was just like done at that moment because it was just like I'm, I'm not gonna eat here anymore this is repulsive like beyond me I'm so disgusted and we just wanted to leave we just wanted to be gone and we were also like had the moment of like oh we, we need to hurry anyway like this is 
the most disgusting meal we've ever had, let's get out of here. So the waitress comes by into our section, I'm just like, hey, you know, like, come over here. And yet again, I could not even like verbalize what was going on. And I just like moved the napkin and I'm like, come here, something's wrong look right here and I like point down at the piece and she like looks closer and then she like goes back like this and she's just like oh like the same reaction as me just like so shocked and so disgusted and kind of looked like she was gonna throw up and I was like yeah exactly that's how I feel I also ate a bite out of that piece of pizza and they were like the little squares these were not like big pieces of pizza you'll see it's like if you take a bite it's like a three bite four bite five bite I don't know my mouth is big and I like to eat and I'm messy so whatever it would not take me long or many bites to get through a piece I could have eaten that and oh I'm sorry there's no right answer in that situation so she recoils in disgust and it was like I'm gonna go get the manager and just walks away. Like we don't have a conversation about it. She's just like, I'm not dealing with this. And so she goes to get the manager and it takes a surprisingly long time for him to get over there. I mean, I don't know if I have been a waitress before. It was for a very short time. I wasn't very good at it. I just don't know what is the procedure you go through, but it took him a while to get over there. He came over and he was like, it was so awkward, but he was just like, uh, I am so sorry, you guys. It never should have come out like that. I'm like, no, like it shouldn't be back there like that. It shouldn't come here like that. It shouldn't have been anything. Like, don't have roaches in your restaurant, number one. That would be cool. So, I mean, obviously I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just like, mm-hmm, okay, all right. And he's just like, it's also still right on my table and he's standing there and it's one of those higher tables. He, like right when he came to the table, he wasn't like, okay, let me see what it is. He just like obviously took her word for it and came over and was like, I'm dealing with the situation. Like, I don't need to inspect the evidence or whatever. And so he's like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Not overly apologetic either. He's like, are you guys going to a show upstairs? Blah, blah, blah. And we're like, yeah. And he's like, okay, we'll just, don't worry about any of this. Like, we've got you, like, you guys can just go. And we're like, yeah, we're just gonna go. And I don't know what I expected. Like, you know, I just don't know what you do in that situation, but we just left. Like, part of me is like, they, like, I don't want other people to go to that restaurant. And so part of me is like, oh yeah, just like tell everybody, don't ever go to that restaurant. But at the same time, I'm like, I get worried about like people losing their jobs because that affects a lot of people. You know, it's, if you have someone lose their job, that could affect their family. It could affect a lot of things that you don't know about. So I'm trying to be sensitive, but it's just like, it happened and it was disgusting and it was bad. I hope it doesn't happen to other people. I hope it was just like this one off crazy event, but it's like, it's almost like the way it was just like laying on top of the pizza, you know, like on its back dead. How did it get like that? How did that happen? Was it cooked like that? Was it, you know, cause it wasn't like cooked into the pizza. It was just like laying on top. I don't know. I don't even want to think about it that much. It's like, I'm just horrified wall to wall, head to toe, horrified and repulsed. And obviously I will never go back there. And I've told everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people in my personal life, like never go there. Yeah, by far the grossest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Anyway, we've reached that wonderful moment. If you have any kind of like severe bug phobia like I do, I would say maybe don't watch this, but um, if you're curious, here comes the, the clip that I got on my phone while I was there. So my life is officially a nightmare, casually eating pizza, and what do I find? This is, this is beyond me. Oh my gosh, I'm so grossed out, I'm gonna throw up. This is where I bit, and then I saw it, and I was saved. But it was a close one, like, you don't even understand how much I hate bugs. Like, I'm nearly shaking right now, I'm so grossed out. And I don't even know what to do, like, how bad could this be? I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, that happened. For everyone that requested, I do this video. I hope it was everything you wanted. I hope nothing like this ever happens to you guys. Uh, yeah. 
Hopefully I never make a video like this ever, ever again. Um, if you liked it and you want more story times, give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. If you want to find me anywhere else on the internet, it's Leanne says absolutely everywhere. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Anyway, ugh. thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Free body foil tattoo included? How did I not notice this? What? And to tell you the truth, I dug this box out of the trash to show you. I'm disgusting. Oh, my tattoos. I should not ever use these. I'm just gonna use them on my neck right here.